Hello everyone, Zane here, and welcome back to my channel. So thanks to a request from one of my new new subscribers, I'm going to show you guys how to make gill with the fisher in Stormblood. So most of these fish are going to be for culinary purposes only. There's a lot of uh, fish for love quests, but since we're halfway into Stormblood, I don't really think too many people either are leveling the fisher anymore, or some of them are already at cap. So this is going to be for culinary purposes only. And most of these are going to be from spearfishing because, well, spearfishing seems to be what they're trying to focus on in stone blood. So that's why most of these fish are from spearfishing. So, first off, we're going to look at sword tip fish, which is basically a squid for tempura platter recipes. A little disclaimer, this, I'm on Gilgamesh, do not take our prices too seriously, make sure you check your marker board on your server, see if they are worth catching, which they should be. So, sword tip fish, they're very expensive on my server, from all quality it's 7,000 to 9,000, high quality 11 to 16, and they've been celebrated decently in the month of May so far, mostly high quality, which is nice. The next is the Hyunseon prong which unfortunately on my server they're a hell of a lot lower priced than the sword tip squid even though they are used for the same recipe so the lower quality can be as low as 300 to 500 high quality as low as to 700 to my well, I can't really give you a, a decent uh, number for high quality because they're all over the place, but again, they they sell quite nicely as, but they're not as expensive as the sword tip squid, even though they're for the same recipe. So the sword tip squid can be caught with a normal sized gig, and the Yansin shrimp prong is best for with a large, but also can be caught with a small sized gig. All right, next is going to be the ivory sole, and this is for the persimmon leaf sushi. This can be caught in the east, uh, southeast lake bed in the locks. It's a saltwater uh, fish. So normal quality can go from 3,000 to 7,500, and high quality can go from 12,000 and above. Uh, again, not too many sold at my server, unfortunately. But they were pretty much a gold, golden ticket for gill when. Uh, Stormblood first launched. And a normal size gig is for the Ivory Soul. Next is going to be the Motley Big Fish, and this is also used in the Persimian Leaf Sushi. Again, a little bit low priced, even though it's for the same uh, recipe. So, again, they're all over the place on my server. So, 600 for normal quality up to 1500 and 1800 for high quality and above. Even though they had, even though it's not been selling too good on my server, it's still it's still useful for making persimmon leaf sushi, which actually sells better. Now, these beak fish can only be caught at around level 70 because the area for it is going to be the level 70 all the way up here at the Kobayashi Maru and that's pretty much an, pretty much an end game area for, for your fisher. So you won't be able to get those until the very end. And a large size gig is to get those. And now the last good one is going to be the spiny lobster this is to make the uh, onigara yaki you gotta love those names uh, number quality from 700 to 1000 high quality 1440 up to possibly 25,000 they have been selling pretty decently over the past couple of weeks and it's all high quality even though it's from pretty much one person there's pretty good and you use that normal gig size head on gig size for the spiny lobster. And the last uh, spearfish you can get is the horn turban, which is a small gig, and this is an honorable mention. So 
So normal quality is pretty much dirt cheap, but high quality can go from 750 all the way up to 10,000. Again, not too greatly priced because what these make is grill turbine, which is basically gives you a straight up crit and vitality uh, stat boost. But of course, there's, there are better food to sell than this. But again, if you can make money off of this, more power to you. And now for the regular fishing, it's going to be the Usuginu octopus. Now this one was a little bit nerfed because they people couldn't catch it. So even though it's easy to catch, it still is a little bit of a pain in the ass to catch because it is best caught at 5 to 9 a.m. with the fair skies. So as you can see, they're pretty expensive. High quality is all over the place. But they haven't sold quite well on my server. Pretty much those are the fish that are in stone blood anyway, are, are best caught and sold. If they don't sell well as individuals, make the items for a culinarian and sell them that way. Now, even though these next three fish are from Heaven's Ward, they still are relevant in Stormblood because they make the seafood stew. Yes, I am talking about Rock Mussels, Blue Claw Shrimp, and the Corthing Crab. And Rock Mussels and the Blue Claw Shrimp can be caught with your retainer. Unfortunately, the Corthing Crab cannot. So let's look at the Rock Mussel. As you see, there's barely any hits on my server, and if people do not sell them, they don't sell at all. So, my server is bare bones because no one really is selling them, but hopefully on yours, they still are sought after. Once, these are a little bit of a pain in the ass to catch, so if you catch one, use your retainer from now on. Blue claw shrimp are actually quite um, common, so you shouldn't have a problem catching these. As you see, again, not that too many hits. As you see, they, even though they have been selling the past couple of weeks, um, not too many people are buying because no one's really putting them on the market board. But they have made a comeback since uh, since Heaven's Ward, which is nice, since Seafood Stew is still used. And the Corthin Crab, which is a little bit more of a pain in the ass to catch, and it cannot be caught with a retainer. As you can see here, they are really expensive, with only 16 hits. And yes, they have been selling decently in the past couple days. Now, because it's from a Heaven's Ward, you don't need high quality to make these high quality. So, it's best to get normal quality and sell them. So, pretty much, those are the fish that you guys can sell individually. Or, if you have a culinarian, make the items that accompany them, and then sell those for huge profits. So this is for both culinary and kind of fisher combined. All right, so if the fish don't sell well by themselves, make the food and sell them that way. All right, guys, so pretty much that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, concerns you have, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with any question you guys might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Stoneblood content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you guys never miss an upload. So until next time, guys, may you forever walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys. Happy fishing, and good luck selling them.